Hello everyone and welcome to Harvest World for part 3 of my tutorial series on Global Company. Today we are going to talk about Global Company production mods. I'm not talking about all of them. I'm going to throw down a few, but I'm going to show you how to decipher a production mod so that you can use any Global Company production mod, almost any. I'm not going to say all because some are a little bit different and some are a little more complex, but most Global Company production mods can be deciphered this way. I think it's going to help you out and simplify global company. It's really not hard once you know what to look for. It really, really isn't. And it will really expand your gameplay if you choose to use them. If not, it's your gameplay your way. But as far as global company goes, let's get started. So when it comes to global company production mods, obviously whatever mod you want to use has to be installed. I've got a few and you will find them in your placeables area. And oftentimes they will be put directly in their own category. And you can see Agraz. Agraz is sort of the brand name for global company type stuff. Um, and I've got three. Goods production, farm production, and other. If I look at goods production, I see I have got a small sawmill. And a variation on the saw, small, small sawmill. <laughs> and I can't speak today. And I've got pallet production. If I look at other... I've got Agres land trade. This one's going to be a little bit important. We'll tell you why in just a minute. And then if I look at Agres farm production, I've got a barrel production plant. Now I've specifically chosen these three because they, well, I've specifically chosen these mods because they work in conjunction with one another. And I'll tell you why. Well, I will tell you how to decipher and then I'll tell you why. How about that? So let's get started by placing some of these. The first thing I want to do is get myself a sawmill. And I have a nice big placeable area right over here just so that we can start throwing stuff down and make it very easy to see. And I want to put this about here. Very nice, very nice indeed. Then I want a pallet production facility. I definitely want that. And I'm going to put that right about, right about here. And then I also want barrel production. And I have used all three of these mods in conjunction with one another on my playthrough of Pineapple Bay. Um... I'm trying to remember, yes, I think that would be the correct placement. I did not place these right on Pineapple Bay, so I'm trying to make sure that I have them set up the way I think they should be set uh, to simplify the transportation process. Okay, now we have got some global company mods placed. This is our barrel production plant right here. It looks very, very nice. This is our pallet production facility right over here. We are going to start at the sawmill. That's the beginning of this production chain anyway. But we're not really concerned about the production chain. We just want to know how in the heck can we figure out what these global company mods do for us. Well, it's a sawmill, right? We know it's going to take logs and process them into something. The first thing you're going to do when you place a global company mod is find this box. This box right here is on almost every global company mod you will, will find. And it's got two different triggers on it. One is to show warning stripes. The other is to show trigger markers. So if we turn on, and you can kind of see this switch turn as I click it, step back and turn the other one on. And then you'll see a third one on the side. This is just to turn on the lights usually it's just to turn on the lights but what we have done is warning stripes and we have done trigger markers now if i walk around this mod you can start to see i've got the warning stripes but it also shows me exactly where something's going to come out this is a tip out point and we can see right there we can pull a trailer under that for something to tip out right here we've got warning stripes and we've got a log showing us this is where logs are going to go in keep walking around the other side we're not finding anything over here but we do have a nice big out symbol and this is where pallets are going to come out 
good information. Now, this obviously needs wood to process. I am going to use easy development to start throwing a whole bunch of logs in here. And I'm going to put a bunch, a whole bunch, so it will start processing logs. And this sawmill actually works very quickly. But we're not focusing on the mod itself. We are focusing on how to decipher. I just want to get the sawmill running. It's going to help us sort some things out. So there you go. And I can actually see over here now that logs have begun to stack up. Very nice, very nice indeed. So the next thing that you want to do when you're looking at a global company production mod is you want to go to your global company main menu, which is left control G. And you can see on my factories tab, I've got three factories installed, barrel production, pallet production, and the sawmill. So once I've got my markers turned on and I check out and find out where they are, I click on my sawmill and now I want to open my overview menu. This is going to tell me that there's a sawmill in my overview. Well, if I click on that sawmill, it's going to tell me what that sawmill needs. Obviously, the inputs are logs. But now we can start looking to see what kind of outputs. What is this sawmill creating? So the outputs are going to be wood chips, sections, bark mulch, boards, and bars, also known as beams. They, they interchange these, so beware that sometimes the wording isn't exactly what you would expect it to be. So boards, bars, bark mulch, sections, and wood chips. We're going to get five different products out of these logs. Now, something to keep in mind. If you've got a whole bunch of extra money and you don't want to do a bunch of forestry, you can, many times on Global Company Mods, click on the inputs, and if I hit Add Maximum, I could now buy all of the wood that I need to fill this up, or it will allow me to buy as much wood as I can until I get broke. I can also start removing them. So if I don't want to spend all of my money, I can only add a few logs to that sawmill. So if you want to run the sawmill without doing any forestry, that is an option. It's just going to cost you. It's going to cost you quite a bit. So that's really really the basics of sorting out what a global company production mod does yes you're going to turn on your warning stripes and you're going to show the trigger markers and it will tell you exactly what part of this factory does what now one thing to keep in mind we didn't look at this before but our sawmill is cranking quite nicely and i'm going to turn up time just a little bit so it'll crank even faster you can see that pallets are starting to spawn in this little storage area over here. Now, I'm going to go to my easy dev commands one more time. I'm going to turn on some super strength. If I go in here, I cannot move these pallets. They will not move. They are stationary. They are not being ejected from the plant, if you will. They're just showing you how much you have and the digital displays show you also. What I have to do to get these pallets to come out and do what I need them to do, well, I'm going to go back into my global company menu. I'm going to my sawmill. I am going to open my overview menu, click on sawmill again, and I can see that boards. It's the boards that's filling up. Now I want to select either as many pallets as I would like to spawn or I can just max that out and I can spawn five pallets right now because I've got 25,000 liters if I hit spawn five pallets now those pallets are gone from there and they have appeared over here in the pallet out area so now I can pick that pallet up and move it wherever I want it to go it's just that simple. There's nothing tricky about it whatsoever. I've got some boards. Do I have anything else I can spawn from my sawmill yet? 
Nope, nope, nope. Well, I could spawn some bars. Well, we'll spawn the maximum. Two pallets of bars. And these look very similar. Just keep in mind that bars are thicker than boards. Now let's walk through this process on our pallet facility. And many times there are doors you can open and look around inside. This would be the storage area for our pallets. But as we always do, we are looking for that electrical box. And lo and behold, here it is right here. I walk up to it, show the warning stripes, show the trigger markers, and now I can see this is a tip out point. And this is an end point for pallets. So this is requiring pallets. And we've got an out point for pallets here. And this is our storage. Something else to keep in mind, um, all of these have a method by which you can walk to them and see what the production is doing, inputs and outputs. Not see it very well, but you can see it in the lower right-hand corner there. And at this point, I can just hit R to open my global company menu straight to my pallet production. And lo and behold, look at that. I've got two different, two different things I can produce, actually. So in pallet production, and anything you can produce from this facility is going to be listed here, I can produce pallets, which requires boards and beams. Those are my inputs, boards and beams. Beams are bars, remember I said that? Um, and that's going to produce empty pallets, sections, and wood chips. Wood chips, or sections, are basically little pieces of leftover wood, you know, little cutoffs that don't have any value. So, I know if I want to produce pallets, I need boards and beams. Pallets of boards and beams. But, if I've got too many beams, I can bring beam, pallet, beam pallets in here, and it will cut them into boards for me. So, beam, think of beams as thicker boards, and this will cut them down and produce wood chips and additional boards. I haven't really had too much of that problem. Um, I have done it a few times, but now that we have our sawmill working over here, we've got a few pallets of uh, boards. We can bring them to our end point over here. Global company, or um, it should start taking those pallets in although I might need to hold them in order to get them to empty. Yeah, it looks like I do. Sometimes these can be a little bit finicky about what they want to take and when they want to take them. Um, you know, if you're doing this with a standard loader, which I would advise. I'm not big on super strength when I don't absolutely need it, unless I'm in a jam, but it's your game. Play it your way. I'm not going to tell you what the best way is. But I can get these pallets in here. Um, let's get some bars in so it actually starts producing. I'm going to turn down my time just a little bit. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Yep, now we've got good, we should have good productivity on our pallets. And you can actually see, as these go in, much like our wood or our uh, sawmill over there that had logs stacking up on it, this is showing me what I've got stored here in pallet production. So right now I've got 20,000 liters of boards and 10,000 liters of beams, also known as bars. Whee! <laughs> the super strength flight mode. And at this point, our pallet production facility is cranking up and we can see we do have pallets beginning to stack up in here, which is exactly what we want to see. Imagine that. Now, let's just walk through it one more time. I'm, I'm a firm believer in, uh, in uh, repetition. So, I place my barrel production facility here. First thing I'm going to do is walk around. Eh, I'll just open the doors because, you know, I like open doors and being able to see inside. And if I come around to the back here, oh, look at that. I've got an electrical panel. I'm going to walk up to that panel. I'm going to show my trigger markers. Um, and it can be a little bit tricky, finicky sometimes, about 
triggering these uh, switches. So you might need to walk up, flip one, step back, and then walk up a second time. So now I've got my trigger markers. I can see this is a tip out or a, yeah, a tip out place right here where it's going to provide me with something. This is my ends end point where I'm going to put pallets in to produce my barrels. And then I've got my barrel pallets out right here. This is going to be barrel storage. It's going to show me exactly how much of what I have. And that's going to be important. Next step is to go into my global company menu. I want to look at barrel production. Open the overview menu. And again, I've got two products I can produce. This will also create boards from beams. So you can use barrel production to cut down your boards if you have too many or your beams into boards if you have too many. But barrel production, well, I need wooden planks. I really wish they would get the, uh, the lingo together because wooden planks are boards. Just call them boards <laughs> so that it matches. Anyway, um, and I need empty pallets. So in order to make barrels, I need boards or planks and empty pallets. What I'm going to get from that is barrels and wood chips. Now, I don't even have to go over to my plants. I can just say um, sawmills. What do I have for boards and beams? Well, um, right now I've got a whole bunch of boards that I can spawn out, 14 pallets, and I have got five pallets of uh, beams that I could spawn out. Go back to my pallet production. Do I have many pallets produced yet? empty pallets. I have 3,000 liters, not enough yet to make um, a pallet, so let me jack up my time again, get things cranking. Okay, now I have at least one pallet of, uh, of empty pallets that I can spawn. So if I spawn that out, it's going to show up right over here, and I can ship that right directly to my barrel factory right here it's going to take those in and this one actually will take it just from the ground which is nice it's very very nice when it will just actually do what it's supposed to do without having to jump through hoops and i will get some boards over here it won't take these however you have to have to hold them above the ground in order to get the boards in there but now we are making barrels now, one last thing, and I actually did bring a John Deere tractor over here that I want to show you. A couple little things. The first is various outputs. And I'm going to do this at the sawmill. So the sawmill produces a multitude of things, as we have seen. One of them is bark mulch. And the other one is wood chips and we know there is a chip out on this sawmill so if I want to if I want to get my bark mulch or wood chips I just come to the sawmill at the tip out and it's gonna dump or tip right into this trailer I can get my wood chips in one trailer there I can get some bark mulch in another trailer And this leads to the question, what am I going to do with this stuff? Well, if I look at my prices menu with my lovely global company add-on icons, I can, um, I can scroll across and I can see that the products I'm producing now, boards, beams, sections, bark mulch, this is bark mulch, barrels and pallets, well, they are all listed as something that I can sell but nobody buys them because the sale points not built into the map. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to go back to Agraz other and buy the Agraz land trade building. This is going to be my sale point for all of the stuff that I'm producing right now. And let's just stick it right there. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work. Now wood chips, I mean wood chips are wood chips. You're going to be able to get rid of those no matter where you go. Most places have a, a sale point for wood chips.
but bark mulch no bark mulch is a whole other ball game and if I look back at my menu now I can see Agres land trade has prices for all of this stuff if I don't want to make barrels if I just want to run the sawmill and sell off boards and bars and sections um, the stuff that the sawmill is producing I can now sell it here at the Agres land trade building but if I want to turn it into pallets and barrels well, I can get a lot more money so it's up to you how you want to handle that but this will take your bark mulch as you can see tips right in no problem whatsoever so that's where or how you can sell your global company productions there are other sale points out there also that people have developed to work in conjunction with global company that's just one of them um, you know and, and I will show you quickly if I want to take one of these pallets and sell it off because I don't need all these stinking boards I've got way too many which will you will never ever say if you're producing other goods but I can tip it in right here it just bought my boards for almost seven grand and as you can see even the sale point has these triggers so I can turn on warning stripes on this one and I can turn on trigger markers and you can see I can tip in here or I can sell pallets here these are my warning stripes if I start working my way around the building there's not much else to see that's the only thing that one sale point over there just making sure that I'm not talking out of turn but nope that's it it's just marking this right here to show you where to sell now the last thing that I want to show you on any production we're gonna look at our sawmill we can see that it says active and auto start is turned on so what that means is it means that the minute this sawmill has what it needs for inputs and it only needs logs it's automatically gonna fire up and start working once it has enough of its inputs it will start producing whatever it's producing you can stop it like so turn it off if you uh, need it to pause whatever you know you might have a reason you want a facility to stop producing well that's how you turn it on and off that's pretty self-explanatory now if I use like we'll say pallet production for example pallet production defaults to pallet production and the minute you have enough in there and again input wise I can buy what I need I don't need the sawmill I can just produce pal or produce boards I can fill that up and it will ask me do you want to sure why not I'll put boards in there and why not I'll even max out my beams because why not again you know you have to spend the money to do it but that's that's the way it is but once these inputs have something in them they will it will automatically start producing pallets now I can also look at my saw that cuts boards from beams this one is not auto started if I want to start it I have to come down here and click start and it will start cutting boards into beams and producing wood chips you can see it's already cranked out 1700 liters of wood chips and I don't have a single board yet <laughs> so that's really all there is to deciphering global company mods now there are some out there that are much more complex um, that take a little bit more work in sorting out but one that I can think of is um, there's one for producing honey that requires a whole bunch of different tools and a whole bunch of different processes in order to crank out some honey but most of your production facility mods are going to take place just like what we've done that's going to do it for my three-part series on global company I hope you found it helpful useful or otherwise if there is a global company mod specifically that you would like to see addressed I will be happy to tackle that again this three-part series was brought to you by request from a subscriber known as too cool he's uh, in my discord and wanted some information so here it is buddy Again, I hope you found this tutorial series helpful or useful. If you did, 
please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. As always, I very much appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.